We are in Freeport, Maine, just a ways north of Portland, and we're actually going to be heading uh, west out of here to get out of Maine, and um, we cannot leave Maine without Dave getting a lobster roll. Now no, we, we cannot. We had lobster with our friend Jane, like actual whole lobsters, which was delicious, but we have to get the... Is this where she recommended to? Yes. So we're at Harrisica Lunch and Lobster in Freeport, Maine. It's like and right in a marina. We are in a lobster roll mission. Now, I'm not a huge fan of lobster rolls. I'm going to look at their menu and maybe pick something else. Here's what we got. I got a burger. Yeah. A, a, a cheeseburger. Royale. Royale. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. I mean, that is what they called it. Uh, fries. Look at these onion rings. But most importantly, look at the lobster roll. It's fatty. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's on a toasted piece of bread. Nice. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. This is what this is what we're here for. Oh, he did the hunch. It's that good. Mm. Yeah, forget about it. It's a lot of meat. Yeah. I am thoroughly stuffed. <laughs> I need all those onion rings. The was, only, only thing I was much. missing was a milkshake. <laughs> totally defile ourselves. <laughs> and then, then we want a milkshake. Salad for the next two days. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Freeport, Maine, and we are just heading west. for some reason. Um, I have no idea why. Littleton, New Hampshire, really cute downtown. Lots of murals and fun little art installations. Uh, and also there's like a suspension bridge here we're gonna go check out. Dave's gonna play a song on this piano here. So it's gonna be a fun day. Pistol on the wall. Look at this. Pistol, you're a celebrity, baby. She does not care. Packer. <laughs> she doesn't like that. <laughs> happy girl. She's happy about that. Ooh, okay, we're bouncing. Oh, don't, look down. don't. I don't like looking down. Oh no. Uh, oh no, don't do not do not look down.
town is so fun. Dave is a maestro on the piano, and I have to say I've got some skills as well. And, but he also doubles as a xylophone player, so. Yeah, I, I was pretty good in, uh, I think, first grade. <laughs> yeah. Wow, early, because yeah. it was more middle school I for me. I was the head of the class. Xylophone? Mm -hmm. Before I could even spell it. This guy is talented. So also in the video, I don't know if you saw it all because it went pretty quickly through the montage, but this town is known for, aside from being at the northwest side of the White Mountains, um, is the birthplace of Eleanor Porter, who is the author of Pollyanna. She wrote that book in 1913. And... I don't know how many of you are familiar with the book. I'm not familiar with the book, but I am familiar with the term Pollyanna. Uh, I didn't know it actually referenced something, but I... I didn't either. Um, and the way I've always read it or heard it is used as an insult. Um, don't be Pollyanna. For someone who is overly optimistic, too enthusiastic, which always struck me as a little odd. Yeah, it's, it's funny because we, we've talked well, I talk about it quite often about to do this lifestyle, you have to be always looking on the bright side of things, I think, for us. Yeah, because things, things are gonna happen. Ha things are going to happen. Yeah. And you're in a strange place, you break down, you know, there's whatever can happen, it's just going to. And if you don't roll with it or find the positive in it and laugh about it, it's not going to be a fun existence. If you try to find the good and try to find reasons to be you know it, it, it sure helps with both our mindset for sure you know because there's a lot of things it takes to live in a van especially as a couple happily yeah you know obviously you have to be very close but I mean I I have some really good family and friends I mean I love them but I wouldn't live in a van with them so yeah. it takes a lot more than love it takes I mean the right attitude because if for if sure. one person is always finding the bad and everything that would be a really struggle for the one who's always trying to find. So oh, definitely. we have a, we have very you know similar. It would be contagious, whatever the mood is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we eat so good. Yes, we're eating again. So this is a blueberry pancake with eggs and bacon. But these blueberries, um, our friend Jane picked for us. They are they are wild, Maine blueberries. So this is going to be delicious. Um, before I go, I want to tell you, coming up, I know it seems like we eat a lot, but we eat every day, obviously, so we're just sharing that with you. <laughs> but uh, there's been a meatball recipe I wanted to try, and it's they have ricotta in them, and you cook them right in the sauce. You don't pre-cook them or anything. Uh, so I want to try that. I'm going to experiment with that, and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. So Ooh. that's what's coming up soon. I got all the stuff today to make them, so I think I'm going to make them tomorrow. So I'm going to help. You'll eat them? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, the thing about the band kitchen, it's kind of a one person job. So, depending on where we're at, if we're inside or outside. But, so from here, we're going to be heading west. And actually, we are headed down to the Gap Trail in Cumberland, Maryland. We're going to start it at, in Cumberland, Maryland. Um, so, we kind of got to get down there fairly quickly because we want to do it in the fall, which is happening now. So,. <laughs> We'll see how quick we can get down there. We kind of poke along, but see you down the road. Carry on. Carry on. For behind the scenes footage, extra content, and all our videos early release and ad free, check out our Patreon page. And check out our blog on our website, carryonbagabond.com. Thanks again, and carry, carry on. on.